Government troops stake their claim on Cobia Airport in the Pando region of Bolivia. They seize control from anti-government protesters. The media reports claim at least one person was killed in the clashes. The government declared martial law in the remote Amazon region after worsening political violence. Fifteen people have been killed in recent weeks and one local leader is appealing for UN intervention. We're waiting for swift action by the United Nations to stop the deaths and abuses. We make the distressing call in the hope that the UN can stop this violence by the current Bolivian government against regions who also have democratically elected leaders. Bolivia's president, Evo Morales, has upset many with his socialist ways. He wants to break up ranches and give land to peasants. But this is what many think of his policies. Anti-government activists have also taken over gas pumping stations, cutting off supplies to areas which support the government. And they've even blocked roads, causing food and fuel shortages. Several towns and cities in eastern Bolivia are affected by the violence. The government has held talks with one opposition governor in an attempt to defuse the crisis. They discussed a host of issues, including the distribution of royalties from Bolivia's rich natural resources, and emerged voicing hope of reconciliation. But as they talked, a homemade bomb was found outside the presidential palace. Police arrested a man thought to have planted it. Other opposition leaders will now consider the government's proposals, but for now, martial law in Pando will remain in force. Sonia Legg, Reuters.